What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Ducks and Download. In this Black Series review and opening, we have the return of the Jedi 40th anniversary Stormtrooper. Got this guy from GameStop. Absolutely crushed it on top. The card back here is all bent and has a nice bent of the whole thing from it sitting in a store for a while underneath one of the shelves, so that's always nice. But thankfully, I'm not a inbox collector, so we will be tearing this open here shortly. Just wanted to give everyone a good look at the card back. Love this original Stormtrooper card back. So, uh, used the same picture here for the George Lucas one, but gave it the double bars. This has the single bars, but still the same red pill and red back for the Stormtrooper here. Uh, I've heard this has now become one of the best Stormtrooper bodies, so I'm excited to see this one, to see how poseable and how good the articulation on this one is. Here is the back shot for this six inch figure. I actually saw Poplo there as well. I almost picked him up, but you know, I've been really wanting just a bog standard Stormtrooper for a while, and I'm super happy to finally be able to add one to my collection. So let's go ahead and get this guy open. All right. Come on now. Nice E11 blaster there, of course. Get that. All right, guys. Definitely a really nice figure here. We have the mid, or I should say, waist to hip articulation. Hip is double ball joint. Yep. Knees are on a a dual nope, single ball. Twist at the knee and at the hip there. We have a nice ball articulation up here in the top of the arm. Let's see. The pauldron does move pretty well. There we go. A little stiff, but not in a bad way. I kind of like that locking sound. That means I can, I'll know it's a uh, very secure. Oh, the breastplate kind of floats a little. That's interesting. Should allow it for uh, easier movement. Head has a really good swivel to it. Absolutely love that clean stormtrooper look. Gorgeous figure. All right, let's get a few poses in on him. Make sure we get him his trusty blaster here. No holster, of course, but they don't usually ever really have holsters, if you've noticed. They're meant just to carry the thing and never die, supposedly. All right. Let's see if we can get him into a few classic stances here. I like that the front hand here is uh, that nice cusp hand. Makes it much easier to just kind of, like, grab the gun. I already really like that middle of the chest articulation there. That's really helping with the uh, hip fire pose. Let's see, get that foot a little twist. So he definitely has an easy uh, hip fire because of that swivel hip or upper chest there. Kind of puts him at an odd angle, but it's a very good, you know, like forward marching kind of angle here. Let's see if we can get him maybe into a uh, kneeled or more of a scoped shot. Wow, guys, look at that. That is an awesome pose. This is really great articulation and really great posability. I am absolutely in love with that. Very rarely do you get a really good scoped shot like that. Looking right down that sight there. That's awesome. I look forward to getting a much bigger setup for all of my troopers. Because things like this need to be shown off. That's an absolutely amazing pose right there. Love it. And even standing up, it looks just as good. Absolutely in love with this Stormtrooper figure. Could not be happier with such what others might consider a super standard figure, but to me is a absolute smash out of the ballpark. Really love this guy. All right, guys, and to finish things up, let's take a look at this amazing latest Stormtrooper here next to the very first, that's right, a Hong Kong original Kenner Stormtrooper right there. Look at his big brother, how proud he is to be standing next to such an amazing figure. Great articulation, great sculpt, an absolutely brilliant body, and I just couldn't be happier with this clean, crisp Stormtrooper. What an amazing figure, an amazing growth from the original, and let's go ahead and get ourselves a shelf shot.
All right, guys, and there we go. Next to my very first figure ever, the Snow Trooper, we have the brand new Storm Trooper. What an absolutely brilliant add to this Imperial shelf. You have to have a normal Stormy if you're going to have an Imperial shelf, in my opinion, and I'm happy to finally add him to the collection. So, guys, thank you all so much for joining. Have an amazing rest of your day, and as always, may the Force serve you well.